Hey guys, my name is Lena, I'm a graphic designer and this is my channel for beginners in Adobe Illustrator and in a graphic design. And today I'm going to talk with you about color. Those things what can kill your design or can make it much, much better. I'm going to show you everything by the example of my work and I will explain how I chose colors for it. And if you're interested, please keep watching. Okay, guys, let's imagine. You created not a bad design, colorized it, but you see it's awful and you think, oh, why it looks so awful? Why it's so difficult to match colors for my design? And in my head it was different. And let's talk about color. Color is my favorite part of creative process. I would say that uh, your first sketch is an embryo and your final design is your newborn baby. And for that he was born healthy and beautiful, you need to work on it. Certainly not 9 months, but uh, not and uh, 5 minutes. Ok, guys, color the most important thing in your design. Because graphic design is a visual sphere, so people must love your work with help of their eyes. And the color is your first helper in this deal. And today I'm going to talk with you about the methods of color matching. And your design will play with the most beautiful colors. Before creating this video, I watched some videos and read some articles about color theory and about the color wheel. Before that, I had never studied theory of color. And this is doesn't prevent me from making cool designs. But after reading and watching this theory, I think it's very difficult to understand, especially in the beginning. And of course, it's so, so boring. So, let me tell you about my methods of color matching. So, guys, this Carrot is one of my tutorials on my YouTube channel. I chose this work for what you can see how I create this carrot and after this video you can make this uh, carrot by yourself. And by the way, the tutorial lasts only 10 minutes. So guys, let's go step by step. First step is of course an idea. I wanted to create a fresh and tasty carrot. I wanted uh, that it be straight and with some green leaves on the top. So I had an idea in my head and I started research. I was searching a photo where I would uh, see an idea like I imagined. And I found this photo with four carrots. And I like the first one. It was like I wanted a fresh and tasty and with some leaves. I like the shape, but I don't like the colors. So now step number two. In a step number two, we will select colors for our carrot. I found this photo where I like colors, so let's go to Adobe Illustrator. Ok, guys, now we are in Adobe Illustrator and I prepared these five squares to select colors from our photo with help of eyedropper. And now let's start to colorize our uh, squares. And now at first we need select selection tool, select this square and this tool and select at first 
more lighter orange color. I select here. Now select the square and again eyedropper and select this orange color and now I need here the most uh, darker orange, co orange color. It's here. Select it. Okay. Now I need uh, colors for the leaves. Select this square and I think this green color. Uh, no, let's try more. No, and one more time. Yes, now I like it. Now here I need light green color. I think it will be good here. Yes, I like it. We selected the main colors, but that's not all guys. And now step number three. Okay guys, and the step number three is selecting the right hues colors for our design. In the big squares we have our main colors from our photo and in the small squares we have our colors from our design. And you see the colors from our design uh, a little differ from the main colors, so you need to find uh, the right hue. So select this square and you see we need this hue. Now you need to make it here. Twice press this square with help of right button or the mouse. And you see here the color bot, uh, the within the with colors. Here we have slider, and here we have slider, and we need to move them a little down here, like this, and a little down here. You see, we need more orange color. Uh, too much. I think now it's good. OK. You see we have now the same colors, but uh, in real they are not the same. You see if we selected, for example, this square, here we, we had this color code. And if we selected this, here we had this color code. But in the real life, for the human eyes, it's not so important to select the same hues and your eyes couldn't see the difference between these hues. These colors are hues from these colors. And what about green colors? I like the main colors, so they are the same. And now I want to talk with you about these two colors, these colors for our background and now the step number four. At first I wanted to create green background but then I saw this photo I thought that it will be very interesting to create orange background for the orange carrot and now let me explain to you how I chose the colors for my background. You see guys, our carrot not very bright and I thought that for our background we need colors more brighter than our carrot. And if uh, we selected uh, the colors like our carrot, our carrot will be not such fresh and tasty. Let me show to you. OK, select our background and let's change our background to this color 
uh, to this color here and this color in the center. Let's select background and here we need this color and here they need this color. Okay, let's make our shadow here 70. Okay, and now you see, now our current looks not so interesting, not so beautiful, not so tasty. And I think that background not very interesting for this carrot. So we need here more bright colors for this not very bright carrot. Let's move back our background. Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z. Okay, I think that background, I think this background, it's so strong and beautiful for this design or this carrot. And how I select this color? Guys, it comes to you the experience. You need to look other designs of other designers to look that background they chose for their work and uh, step by step you can create such cool designs with such cool backgrounds. Uh, you can't uh, to learn it with the help of theory. You need only practice, practice and practice. So guys, these were my main tips and tricks about color matching. That's all for today. Hope you like my video. If yes, please subscribe and give me a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And see you soon in the next video about graphic design and in the new tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.